Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Jeff. Thank you for checking out my channel, Films at Home. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for coming back. If you are a new viewer, just so you know, this channel is all about 4K, Blu-ray, reviews, movie collecting tips and tricks, cool videos about my collection. I have over 2,000 movies in this room, I'm constantly making new videos and doing reviews. So if you're into that sort of thing, I think you'll like this and you should definitely subscribe. Today, we're not doing a review, but I'm doing another sort of collection spotlight video. Now, I've done some on Scream Factory titles I own, I've done some on my Criterion collection, I've done some on my out of print titles. You can find all of those videos in my channel. But today, we're gonna go over all of my steel books. I probably have around uh, 40 or 50 steel books. Haven't been collecting them for a while now but I have a nice collection of older stuff that I think you guys will like. And it's a good chunk of my collection and they're really cool no matter what, you know, even if I haven't been out to Best Buy in a while or Target to pick up the latest Steelbook, it's still really cool to have them in your collection. And I appreciate you guys who go out and dig for them every day. So I'll show off this collection here. I'll do a quick little unboxing type thing on each of them, just show you the inside cover work, uh, back cover, front cover, show you what it's all about. Maybe you get some cool ideas from this video. Um, and if you think you want any of these, I'm open to selling them. So you know what? If you see one in this video you like, leave a comment below or find me on Instagram, send me a message, maybe it could be yours. So let's dive in here. I'll start with my first pile of steel books and here we go. So first up off the top of the pile, this is Space Jam. I believe this came out for the 20th anniversary of the movie. A uh, really, really nice artwork, glossy cover on the front and back. And then on the inside, you've got a Blu-ray disc, a DVD, and some really cool artwork as well. Um, I really love Space Jam. It's one of my favorite uh, kids' movies of all time. Grew up on it. Had to have the steel book when that came out, and it's really great artwork, so I'm, I'm really happy with this one. Next up, this was a Best Buy exclusive, although I'm, I think you can find them other places now. Uh, this is Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Uh, it has quite of the cool pop art steel book. So on the front, you've got this. On the back, cover. You've got a quote, uh, it says, if there was a trip to be taken, they were there. Um, then on the inside, it's sort of plain. You're just talking about a Blu-ray disc here uh, and just some you know, brownish yellow uh, color on the inside. So that's about it. Uh, names on the spine as always, but just sort of a clean, uh, minimalist type steel book. Next one here I got from Zavi. If you don't know Zavi, uh, it's a website in the UK. They do a ton of exclusive steel books, stuff you won't find anywhere else. And this is where I picked this one up from. Uh, you have to be careful, make sure they're region free if you don't have a region free player. But uh, this is Predestination. If you haven't heard of this movie, it's awesome. It stars Ethan Hawke, kind of a time travel movie, really messes with your head. Uh, but really great artwork on the front and on the back, really nice artwork there. And then on the inside, you've just got the Blu-ray disc and then the same sort of artwork that's on the disc is on the inside cover. So a nice steel book. It was a Zavi exclusive, I believe. So. You'd have to go through them to find it. Probably sold out now as most of their copies are. Next one here, I remember finding this at a Costco for like eight bucks, and now apparently it's really hard to find from what I've heard. But this is the uh, limited edition steelbook from Scarface. Really nice front cover art, really nice and glossy. Back cover's really nice as well. Um, then on the inside, there's actually some like postcard type things. I haven't opened those, I've kept them sealed. And then you have uh, Scarface with Al Pacino on Blu-ray and then the original Scarface from the 1930s is in here as well and they include that movie um, also some decent artwork on the inside cover overall a really nice steelbook I love the glossiness of it uh, and a really nice collector's edition you don't see steelbooks too often with extras in them this has some good weight to it because it has you know two movies postcards it's a really nice steelbook next one here this is also from Best Buy it was one of the pop art exclusives uh, Shaun of the Dead Classic, the broken vinyl on the front, on the back. You know, it's just one of those days you're feeling a little dead. They have the quotes all the time. Um, and then just on the inside again, pretty standard. You get a Blu-ray disc, just the plain color on the inside, no artwork. Very minimalist, but I really liked these from Best Buy when they came out. I have a bunch of them you'll see throughout my collection. Uh, and I love the movie, so had to have that one. Uh, this one here, I believe I just got from Amazon and Warner Brothers did a ton of these kind of just basic steel books for uh, older movies. This is Chinatown, uh, decent front art, back no art, just the uh, credits basically. And then on the inside, it's pretty plain, just a clear 
background, you got a Blu-ray disc. Nothing really crazy here. Very, very simple steel book. I think these were going for like five or six bucks. Uh, maybe two for 10 at some point on Amazon. So I do have a bunch of these as well. Next one here, this is a Target exclusive. Not a great movie, but I found this on clearance at Target. And so I picked it up back in the day. Uh, this is the Gambler, Mark Wahlberg movie. It's just okay, but it's a pretty cool steel book. Um, you see it's got really nice artwork on it. And then on the inside, look at this. I haven't even used the digital copy yet because that's how bad this movie is. I haven't watched it. Um, but it comes with the digital copy, which isn't always the case for some steel books. And you get some decent artwork on the inside with the Blu-ray disc and a DVD. Nothing special, but again, it's a Target exclusive, hard to find nowadays, so I'm glad I have it in my collection. This next one here is also a Zavi exclusive, uh, and this is Moon. Really underrated movie, really hard Blu-ray to find out in the wild anyway. Um, so I'm glad I got the steel book. Really nice and glossy in the front, although you can see it's smudged. The back has excellent artwork as well. Uh, and then on the inside, you've got some more artwork of the kind of moon lander and uh, the, the rover that he's in, the moon landscape, and then just the Blu-ray disc there. Again, it's a region free movie, so be careful when you're buying from Zavi in the UK. Be careful you're getting region free unless you have a region free player, and then it doesn't matter, but always do your research first. This next steelbook, also from the UK, from Zavi, Zavi exclusive. Uh, this is Godzilla. Again, not the good Godzilla. This is the Matthew Broderick 1998 Godzilla, but the artwork on the front was too cool for me to pass up. I love the big Godzilla eye, the glossy cover, uh, and then the back has a really nice shot of Godzilla as well. Uh, on the inside, you've just got Godzilla sort of rampaging through New York City with a taxi and just the Blu-ray disc. Again, region free so that I can watch it. Uh, I actually don't have a region free player, so that's important to me. This next one here, this is Apocalypse Now. Uh, I found this at Best Buy for about eight bucks back in the day. Really, really nice artwork on it, front and back. Um, and it has both versions of Apop Apocalypse Now, which is really nice. Uh, on the inside, just a little bit of artwork, nice Blu-ray disc, really cool steelbook. I love this image on the back uh, and the image on the front, Francis Ford Coppola presents. You know, it's, it's just really, really nice. Really good steelbook to have. This next one here is not technically a steelbook, it's a metal pack, which is something Target was doing. Uh, and then they got back to steelbooks really, but this is Wolverine. Uh, again, not a great movie, but very cool artwork on the front. I probably got this for seven or eight bucks uh, in clearance. Great artwork on the back. I really like white steelbooks for some reason. Um, and the metal packs, you know, actually fold all the way out because they have a different spine. So you can see this will fold flat instead of having anything on the, on the spine there. Um, and then the inside, you get a Blu-ray disc. You got some artwork there of Wolverine. Um, not a great movie, it's okay. It's nothing like Logan, but uh, cool steelbook anyway. This next one here I also got from Target. This was sold in a few places, I believe, but it's apparently pretty hard to find now. Uh, it's a steelbook of The Evil Dead. I'm a sucker for horror movies, so anytime I see a release of The Evil Dead, I grab it. They've had some really cool releases over the years, but I really like the steelbook. Uh, great back artwork, great front artwork. Um, then on the inside, it's pretty plain. It's just the Anchor Bay uh, Evil Dead disc and just plain color on the inside, no artwork. But the front and back are really cool, well worth having in your collection if you're a horror fan. Next one here is a comic book limited edition. They were limited, but I swear I saw them everywhere for like five bucks, so I, I don't know how limited they were. Um, but it's Peter Jackson's King Kong, so it has sort of this graphic uh, novel comic book cover to it. it. has the extended edition in here as well. Uh, the back cover is actually much more like a standard Blu-ray with a bunch of text and uh, kind of bonus features and breakdown of the disc. So that's a little weird that they don't have artwork there. Um, and then on the inside, it's just plain. You get a Blu-ray disc, you got a DVD. That's about it. Um, I don't love these steel books. I thought I liked them when I first saw them because I was getting them for so cheap, but I'm really not a fan. I have a couple of these and I could do without them. Next one here is another one of those Warner Brothers ones I was talking about. Uh, this is Face Off, John Travolta, Nick Cage, classic movie. They actually put some artwork on the back and it is hard to compete with that front cover artwork as well. Um, again, on the inside, very plain, just a Blu-ray disc, clear background, nothing really to it. These were very cheap. I swear they were two for $10. I picked up a bunch of them on Amazon. Um, and that was, you know, I just grabbed whatever I could at that point. This is another one from the two for 10 sale back in the day. Uh, this is Heat. This one's been kind of banged up a little bit. It got scratched up on its way from Amazon, but it's a great movie. Really nice uh, front artwork. 
pretty cool back artwork as well. Uh, and then again, on the inside, you're just dealing with a standard Blu-ray disc, nothing special. Uh, this is not the remastered edition of Heat. I have that as well. They remastered it about a year ago or maybe two years ago. So that's not this disc. It's an older disc at this point, but I may think about moving the new disc into this case because I do really like this steel book. Now coming back to some of the comic book ones, uh, this is the Fast and the Furious, the original, the one that started a 12, 15, 20, however many movies they go, epic series. Um, again, comic book artwork on the front. On the back, you've got the same thing. It's sort of a, all the Blu-ray listing and um, the cast is in it, bonus features. It looks like a typical Blu-ray, which is weird. And then on the inside, you've got a Blu-ray disc and you've got a DVD again. No artwork on the inside, pretty plain. Um, but I have all the Fast and Furious movies. I bought this way back in the day and I really don't need it anymore. It's probably one of my least favorite steel books, but it's in my collection, so I showed it to you guys. Next one here, this is another pop art from Best Buy, uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Really cool, minimalist stuff on the front. An epic of epic epicness on the back with the uh, guitar again. And then on the inside, you've got sort of a pink uh, inside color and just the standard Blu-ray disc. So uh, nothing too special here, but I do like the minimalist feel of these and the sort of, um, I don't know what you would call it, but it's not a glossy cover, but it's a little bit rougher. I sort of like that feel in some of them. I feel like it protects them better as well. Uh, so I really like this series, another one from that series that I grabbed. Following up here on that same series, uh, this is another pop art. This is Hellboy. Got this from Best Buy as well. I think this was wave two of the pop art steelbooks. So they did a couple waves of them and they still put out pop art steelbooks for new movies occasionally. I have a couple I'll show you in the next pile. But I think this was the second wave. Uh, didn't have Hellboy yet on Blu-ray, so I figured, hey, what the hell, let's grab it. Actually, look at that, still has the digital copy in there. Um, and this is just a plain steelbook all around, has the director's cut of Hellboy. No back cover art, a little bit on the front, which is cool, but um, the artist's signature is also on the back, probably hard to see, but um, they're nice, but really plain on the inside and usually just one disc. Last one from this pile before I dig into the next pile is another Target exclusive. I remember running out to get this. Uh, this is American Sniper, Bradley Cooper. The front cover art's just okay, but I love the back cover art with the sniper scope. Uh, really, really cool image there. And then on the inside, you've got a really nice image of the kind of uh, the squad that he was in. You've got a DVD, you've got a Blu-ray. Overall, a really, really nice steel book. I really like this one. And it's a Target exclusive, so very hard to find these days. Most likely out of print at this point. All right, now working on the next batch here. This is my second pile. This is the end of the steel books. Uh, first up, again, from Zavi in the UK. This is the Thin Red Line steel book. An exclusive from them, hard to find. But I love the minimalist cover art. It's sort of like the pop art steel books, but... It wasn't part of that series. Love the front. The back just has a red bullet with that classic, you know, blood dripping off it. And then the inside has a nice shot from the movie with the Blu-ray disc. Again, region free so that you can watch this in the U.S. with any Blu-ray player. Um, but I really like this steel book. It's one of my favorites. But I sort of want the Criterion Collection Edition. So I go back and forth on whether to sell this one or not. I may eventually sell it, but uh, really nice steel book. I'm really happy with it. Next up is another one from the pop art collection at Best Buy. But again, this is from the second wave. Wasn't in the original. Uh, this is Christine. Now this one takes a little bit of a different ap approach. You don't have a very minimalist thing. You've got the title. You've got a really nice uh, drawing here of, of Christine the car. And then you have like the, the listing for the car in the bottom, which is kind of cool. Uh, just some text there. On the back, it just has the... Uh, artist signature again um, and then on the inside cover again another digital copy that I haven't taken out yet we're gonna have to give those away at the end um, on the inside just playing again with the blu-ray disc now I've heard Christine is coming out in 4k so this steel book probably has a limited shelf life for me I'll go get the 4k because I love John Carpenter have to support his movies but it's a really nice steel book all overall and I like the white uh, like I said, I really like white steel books. This is another one from Pop Art, and I can't remember if it was the first or the second wave, but it's Karate Kid. On the front, you've got kind of a lot more going on than a typical Pop Art. And then on the back, you sort of have that minimalist. You'd think that this would be on the front and this might be in the back, but they kind of flipped them for this release. Um, and then again on the inside, here's actually one of the 
old inserts that told you what all the Pop Art Steelbooks were. Um, on the inside, you've just got plain color again, Karate Kid Blu-ray disc, but it has the sort of you know logo that's on the back here, which is kind of cool. Uh, pretty simple, but I loved the front cover art. It looks like an old 80s poster, so I had to have it. This one here, uh, this is a Target exclusive. Hard to find this. Again, it's probably out of print. This is Chappie Steelbook. Uh, it's the Neil Bloomkamp movie, guy who made District 12 in Elysium. Uh, he made Chappie. It, it got a nice little Target Steelbook. Didn't do really well in theaters. Didn't really get a great critical reception either, but it's a pretty decent Steelbook. I like the red. And on the inside, you know, really cool uh, artwork on the inside as well with just the Blu-ray disc. So uh, overall, not a great movie, but a pretty cool Steelbook. And I do remember getting this on clearance when Target was trying to get rid of them as well. Now you'll probably notice I haven't talked a lot about Marvel Steelbooks. I tend to stay away from them recently because they just get so crazy with people going into Best Buy, right at 8 a.m., they run in, they take 12 copies of the movie, then they go sell them on eBay for three times the price. Just hasn't been worth it to me, especially as someone who doesn't obsess over Steelbooks. I do have the original Guardians of the Galaxy cassette tape Steelbook. Grabbed this when it came out. I remember getting it for $10 because there was some sort of pricing error when it was up for pre-order. I pre-ordered it right away. I sat on the phone with Best Buy support for 20 minutes to make sure the order went through. I was obsessed over getting this. It was my favorite movie uh, at the time. Best Marvel movie still in my opinion. And it was a 3D release. And at the time I was into collecting 3D. Um, obviously the artwork in the front and back is awesome. And then on the inside, you have a Blu-ray disc and the 3D Blu-ray, which is very cool. Um, I also love the spine on this one. It has the cassette player, like play button, stop, rewind. Love the whole case. It's, it's really, really nice. One of my favorite steel books and also one that's pretty hard to find even on eBay for a good price. Uh, these Marvel steel books just go crazy uh, with resale value. So I'm happy to have this one, but I'm not trying to sell this one anytime soon. One more that I got for Best Buy and I ended up getting this in the uh, two for $10 Sony sale, I believe is what they have sometimes. It's either two for 10 or two for 15, but I found the steel book and I said, okay, I'll grab it. It's the new Ghostbusters, the female driven Ghostbusters, but I love the artwork. The artwork on the front is awesome. The colors are great. The artwork on the back is also great. The colors are awesome there. Lots of greens and blues. Um, came with a bunch of offers on the inside, but those are probably expired. And then on the inside cover, you got the classic Ghostbusters symbol and the Blu-ray disc. Um, I actually did watch this, didn't hate the movie. It's obviously not the original, but you know what? It's not half bad for a dumb, you know, comedy. So I'm um, happy to have this artwork though. It's a really nice steel book. Probably one of the better looking steel books in my collection, just not the best movie. This one here was uh, one I found at Target for about $5. Again, sometimes you just find them on clearance. They used to have a lot more steel books, but this is Lawless with Tom Hardy and Shia LaBeouf. Um, Gary Oldman's in it, um, it Jessica Chastain. It has like a great cast and it's actually a pretty decent movie. Inside is pretty plain, just the Blu-ray disc, no artwork. You got the front and back here. Um, I like the movie. It's a pretty good Prohibition era movie. Didn't get a whole lot of hype, but it's solid and it's a pretty cool steel book. I don't love the front cover art, but I do like the back cover. This feels too much just like a Hollywood poster with the names on top. They didn't do a good job, but the back of it's really nice. Next one up here is my only Shout Factory steelbook, and I had to grab this when I heard it was going out of print. Um, it is Transformers, the movie, excellent front artwork, um, Till All Are One on the back with the, the Transformers uh, logo there, and then, sorry, not the logo, but on the inside, the Transformers logo, and then it has the, um, widescreen and full screen editions of the movie. Now, why they did that, I'm not entirely sure, but you know what? It's cool to have both options. Um, but really nice steel book from Shelf Factory. They don't do a ton of these. They've been doing a lot more lately for Screen Factory. Um, but this is one of their first and it's really nice. I like the glossy uh, feel in the front. Really good artwork, classic 80s nostalgia. Next up is another one that I actually found at Target and they still have these. I saw them the other day when I was in there for their uh, two, four, 30 4k deal so definitely check them out but this is top gun 30th anniversary really great front artwork i love the artwork on the back this is the most american steelbook i have as you can see um, and then on the inside what you've got is you've got a blu-ray disc just a regular blu-ray disc and then you've got this uh, behind it
What you've got on the inside now is you've got a, uh, just a regular Blu-ray disc, and then you've got the DVD from the Special Collector's Edition. Um, really great artwork, really nice steelbook. Happy to have it. 30th anniversary is cool, and it's a great movie, so you can't go wrong. Now I've got another one of the uh, Warner Brothers kind of plain steelbooks they put out for a very cheap. Uh, it's The Town. Being from Boston, I love The Town. The scene in Fenway Park at the end is one of the best scenes in any movie ever. It's hilarious that they do this in Fenway Park. And it's really, really cool to see your sort of, you know, local ballpark. I've gone there a hundred times and to see it in a movie in that setting, really, really cool for me, especially as a baseball fan. Um, front artwork's kind of bland. Back artwork is pretty cool. Good scene from the movie there. Um, and then the inside just have standard gray backdrop with uh, the town extended cut in here on Blu-ray. Next one is another Target exclusive that I do remember running out to grab back when I was in college and I had a little more time to go grab these movies. Uh, this is the Interstellar Target exclusive. I really don't like the front artwork. It was kind of poorly photoshopped, which I remember was a big kind of controversy at the time. Matthew McConaughey's head looks too big and the helmet, it's just kind of a mess. The back is just an extension of the front as you'll see, and what just fell out, we'll talk about in a second. Um, that's just an extension of the front. And then the inside, it's actually a three disc set. You've got the Blu-ray feature film, special features, and then the DVD. Really, really cool. Uh, obviously a great movie. One cool thing that does come with it uh, that I just dropped is a film cell from the IMAX uh, film print. So it's from an actual 70 millimeter print of the movie. I got sort of this scene, it's probably very, very hard to see. Hold on, let's see if we can take it out of here. That probably makes it a little easier, but it's Matthew McConaughey when he's sitting down, I believe talking to the principal of his daughter's school at the very beginning. Uh, if I can get some more light on that, maybe you can see it better, but hard to see the film cell obviously on video, but it is pretty cool that it came with, you know, an actual piece of the 70 millimeter print. These are sort of collectible. I have a few of these from other movies. I remember getting one for uh, Star Wars, The Phantom Menace. I have that somewhere. Um, pretty cool that they included that. And I just didn't get the best sell. I wish I got something from space. Uh, but it seemed like they kind of did it by area. So everyone in one area got a, you know sells from one scene and that's how it got distributed. So it is what it is, but a really cool addition to that steelbook. This next one is probably my favorite steelbook because of how clean and white it is. This is from Zavi. Uh, it's a very, very clean steelbook with some great artwork. It's American Graffiti, uh, Zavi exclusive. You're not gonna find this anywhere else, but great, great cartoon artwork on the front. Nice touch on the back. Um, obviously, if you don't know this movie, it's, a, it's George Lucas's big kind of first break. Uh, has a ton of people in it, Harrison Ford's in it. There's a ton of people in this movie. And then sort of just the, um, the kind of diner and all the cars out front, Blu-ray disc, again, region free. But I just love the clean, sort of white look to it. It's really nice and you know, it's got that glossy white. It looks like a countertop or something, but it's really clean. Really like the artwork on this one. Next up is a Best Buy exclusive and you guys are gonna kill me for this one. But I bought this because I was really into Steelbooks at the time. This might've been what drove me away from Steelbooks because I paid $22 on release day for this movie just to get the Steelbook. Um, it is Fifty Shades of Grey. Yes, I have a Fifty Shades of Grey steelbook. Thought I was gonna collect everything from Best Buy that I could. Don't know why I went and got this one. I hate these movies. Artwork on the front and back is pretty plain. You got a lot of gray going on. Some might say there's Fifty Shades in here. Um, and then on the inside, pretty simple stuff. There's a couple scenes from the movie and then you got a Blu-ray and a DVD. Can't say I recommend buying it, but it was a Best Buy exclusive, so it's kind of cool to have this. A lot of other people won't. It definitely went out of print, I would guess, because nobody bought it, and hopefully they threw the rest in a fire. So maybe there's only like 500 of these out there. I could have a rare one on my hands, but I'm not sure because no one else is willing to admit that they own Fifty Shades of Grey steelbooks. So I manned up and I did it. If you have one of these, let me know, because I'd love to hear from you. Next one is another Zavi exclusive. I've talked about Zavi a lot. I'm gonna leave a link down in the description for them. Great UK website, very cheap shipping to the US and a lot of region free titles, but also great steelbooks if you're into steelbooks. Uh, this is The Longest Day, the D-Day World War II epic. I love the front cover, love the back cover. All, you know, everything just screams World War II here. It's really, really nice. And then on the inside, you've actually got two Blu-ray discs and some really nice artwork. So. Disc one obviously has the uh, movie, disc two has some of the special features, but 
but a beautiful steel book. If you're a World War II history geek like me, uh, it's really cool to have that D-Day scene on the steel book. Really enjoy this one. This one's also from Zavi. This is a sort of weird trauma movie. Um, this is The Toxic Avenger. I like this one because you can see it sort of if I get it in the right light, but it has an embossed kind of outline. It almost frames the picture of the Toxic Avenger, and then this is embossed as well. It gives it some really nice depth. Uh, back artwork, pretty standard stuff. And then on the inside, there's some more kind of cool artwork. You can even see on this side where they've kind of pressed the metal to make it embossed. Just a standard Blu-ray disc, but again, region free, really cool movie. When you get a cool movie like this, it's always nice to get really cool packaging. And uh, the Toxic Avenger Steelbook from Zavi is definitely a really cool package. Next up, we're getting towards the end, but this is another Target exclusive. This is straight out of Compton. I remember running out to get this one. Love the movie. Loved the artwork with the big straight out of Compton NWA type logo on the front. All the guys on the back. And I love that they didn't put the actors' names, you know. They just made it look like an album cover, you know. Dr. Dre, Easy e MC Ren. Really cool what they did there. Um, and then on the inside, nice scene of them at the concert. And then you get a Blu-ray and a DVD. Pretty standard stuff, but overall a really nice uh, steelbook case. Another Target exclusive that I'm sure is out of print at this point, so I'm happy to have it talked a little bit about metal packs before. This is another one of those metal packs, which is sort of a steel book, but sort of not. Uh, it says X-Men Days of Future Past. This was also at Target. Decent front artwork, kind of cool back artwork with the villain. I can't remember his name. Um, and then on the inside, what you have is this, first off, this fan art book, which is kind of weird. It just has some, you know, stuff that fans drew and they put in the steel, the metal pack. Obviously opens up flat again because it's different from a steel book. And then on the inside, you just got the Blu-ray disc and some more artwork of the X-Men in, in the fight. So uh, kind of cool. Seems like they were doing these metal packs for the X-Men movies. The other one was Wolverine. And I believe X, uh, X-Men and X2 and X3 also have metal packs from uh, Target. Target also has metal packs for stuff like uh, Super 8, the Indiana Jones movies. They were doing these for a while, and then I haven't seen them in a while. So they probably phased them out, but... Um, they're kind of different. They're kind of cool to collect because they're just a little bit different than a steelbook. All right, two left to go. Uh, this is another pop art from Steelbook, Desperado. I remember getting this one super cheap as well. Really, really nice cover art though. I love the, the artwork on, on the cover. In the back just has the roses. Um, inside cover, again, there's a little slip here that talks about the pop art collection. And then just a Blu-ray disc. No artwork on the inside, but I really do like the stuff on the outside. It's what drew me to it. And for the price at the time, it was cheaper than the regular Blu-ray, so it's a no-brainer to grab a steelbook there. Last but not least, this is probably my favorite steelbook because I tried the hardest to get this, and it's probably the last time I really pushed to get a steelbook for a movie at Best Buy uh, just because of the craziness. But this is Mad Max Fury Road. I love the cover art. The back artwork is okay with Tom Hardy, uh, Mad Max there. But then the inside cover, really great. Blu-ray, DVD great scene from the movie um, just loved the steel book the minute I saw it had it pre-ordered but then they canceled my pre-order and so I had to run in on the day of grab this on my lunch break happened to be one left that day and I got very lucky and that was the last time I'd said I'm, I'm ever doing this sort of run around for steel books this is probably the last steel book I bought um, I know there's been a lot of great ones out there there's also a lot of great ones from other companies overseas uh, kimchi DVD Nova media does great steel books there's a ton of really cool steelbooks out there. I just never really got into that portion of collecting. I'm much more about just quantity over sort of quality, I guess, or over rareness or over the packaging. I just want to have the movie. So I got away from steelbooks, but I still want to share them with you. I think it's really cool to check out what I had. And, you know, there's some older titles in here, too, that you probably don't see much anymore. So I was really excited to share those, especially some of the out-of-print exclusives. Um, just think they're really cool. I'm definitely holding on to most of them, but if you see one you really like, I'm not, you know, stuck to any of these. I would easily trade some of these for a standard Blu-ray if somebody was really, really into steelbook collecting, so definitely let me know. Um, but thank you for watching this video. Again, a little bit long, but I wanted to show you guys my whole collection. I know you like it, so thanks for sticking around to the end. What I am going to do, though, and I said, ah, I might as well do this. I have two digital codes here that I came across while I was doing the video. Um, the Gambler and Hellboy. So I give away digital codes all the time. Here's the rules. Subscribe and leave a comment and say, 
I want the digital code. That's all you have to say. I'm gonna pick a couple people, they're gonna get one of these digital copies. Uh, it's as easy as that. I didn't even know I had them, so guess what? Now they're gonna be yours. You get a chance to win Hellboy, which is a great movie, and The Gambler. It's a free movie, you can't go wrong. So uh, just subscribe and leave a comment there. Also remember to follow me on Instagram. I've always got contests going on with the Instagram community. Follow me on Twitter. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, the link will be in the description as well as in the pinned comment. But I really appreciate anything that anybody can give to help me improve my setup, to help me you know, buy new movies to review. All this stuff costs money. I'm doing it for fun. So anybody that really appreciates what I'm doing and wants to help, I appreciate whatever you can give. If you give $2, you'll buy me a beer. I like that too. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this. And I will see you guys soon with another video.